Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Cat back again on Sins of the Prophets. Now, what do I want to do today? Uh, last time, I gave you a quick release video, and uh, we showed a little bit of the UNSC in action. Today, that's not what we're going to do. We're going to start a new game, and we are going to start a... Oh, let's start a large single map. Have the flood inactive, because we don't want none of that. Stick all these at normal. Normal fleet sizes is fine. Keep random events on. And today, I'll be playing as the Covenant. Now this, this may be foolish of me, but I'm going to put everything on Heroic. Let's have a look at our game options again. Are we going to allow... Uh... We'll keep Allied Victory off. We want this to be more interesting for us, don't we? Oh yes. Don't need flagship or capital victory, and let's start a game. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I will be the Arbiter of the Covenant. Well, that's always nice. I haven't played as the Covenant before. Uh, I've always been a UNSC player, so this could be uh, an interesting experience for both of us. Uh, everything's on heroic, so I might well fuck it up. Is the demon here? <laughs> <laughs> That's majestic. Off they go. We'll tell those guys to explore. <laughs> right then, let's see what we've got. Okay, uh, Sacred Altar, and that's civilian technology. So we're going to get a couple of those in straight away. Um, capital ships, what can we build? The TDS Carrier. That's got a colonize and drop pods ability. That's always good. And the CAR class. It's the smallest ship of the line, boasting defensive shields and much needed fleet support. Anything interesting in here? A pious class. Okay, that's a colony ship. So let's uh, build several of those. Interestingly, we already have a missionary class. Is the demon here? Oh, no, no, that's, that's not what I was thinking of. I was thinking stock game there. The missionary class is a, uh, a colonization vessel. Let's join in the fun! <laughs> Let's see who wants to join in the fun. Here he is. This is the CAR class. Very nice. What is the order? The future of the Covenant lies in the stars beyond. The future of the Covenant lies in the stars. Let's have a look at this. Oh, that is an attractive vessel. I like that. I think I'm going to like the Covenant. I just want to have a look at the skyboxes again, maybe change one of them. Well, that has a nice effect. What do you think? Purple for the Covenant? Yeah, I like that. Let's join in the fawn! Kill the demon! Because we can. Alright, just got one or two more of these to build. Uh, let's just check out our Empire research for the minute. We could always do with more research. Research. Resource? Yeah, resource. Resource sublimation. Good lord, I can't speak today. Orbital structure complete. Ah, oh, magnificent. We always. Orbital structure complete. Oh, good, 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 good. Zoom it out a little bit. Uh, dwarf frozen let's planet. Right, we're going to go for this first. Yes, good. That looks like all of our vessels are done. We're gonna we're gonna make up a fleet and we're gonna join them together and we're gonna go. This has got a Paris class and a Charon class with it, or Charon. We'll call it Charon. Makes more sense to me. Really nice highlights on this vessel. <laughs> there they go. Our forces have arrived. Magnificent. Kill them all. Kill them all indeed. Okay. Let's do a bit of this. Follow our fleet in. Seems our fighters are already doing the job. Whoa, look at that. Plasma weaponry. 
can't go wrong with a bit of plasma weapon, eh? What is the order? Boom! These Covenant ships are not messing around. Magnificent. And they've also got shielding, which is... Uh, oh, good. Yeah, it looks like this is going to be okay for us. Circumstance. There it is. So, let's uh, build some resource asteroids. Let's see what else we can build here. Now, uh, we're going to need uh, Arctic Occupation. Looks like we don't have quite enough resources at the moment. Uh, it appears to me that the uh, the resource aggression of the, um, the Covenant is a bit slower than the UNSC. And I think that's just to uh, control their ship numbers initially. Because they seem quite powerful to me. This dwarf frozen planet. Our truth will spread to new worlds. Pretty cool. Our truth's gonna spread to new worlds. That's always good. That's like a horrible disease. Okay, I'll exploits. Orbital structure complete. Planetary improvement finished. Think about making a trade post there because uh, it looks like, as I say, our resources are pretty slow. And faster is always better. What other capital ships do the Covenant have in their arsenal that I will be able to research in time? We've got the Salvation Class, which is a CAS assault carrier. It's the most feared vessel in the Covenant fleet. And the Adjudicator Class, specializing in long-range heavy damage. What other vessels can we... We've got the CRS, which is a smaller, weaker version of the CCS. CPV? Yeah, okay. Known to turn UNSC ships into heated, superheated dust. I think we could do with that. And the CCS, which is the most powerful one. Larger than the CRS, has the perfect balance between ship to ship combat and support abilities. What do we have in here? We've got the Picket class, which is. Okay, that's an anti fighter ship. The SDV, that is a planetary assault vessel. And the Mercy class, which. Ah, oh, that's an Envy. Envy? Envoy. Good God, men, Henniot. What have we got here? Hangar defense, regeneration bay, and a slip space stabilizer. Well, of course the ancients grace us with our favor. It's, it's, it's only natural. They do have Gold Ducat in charge of them. When I signed the Pact of Alliance with the Covenant. <laughs> How many things do we need for this? We need a little bit more, but we're definitely going to build a trade station here and we're going to expand. Orbital structure complete. Well, it looks like both of our, uh, our scouts have been destroyed. So let's uh, build five? Five. Spread to new worlds. Oh, here we go. Propagator vessel awaiting your command. Zoom right into this. Uh, this Paris class here. He's turning to engage. Fool of a took. Spook ready! <laughs> Can't get over those little grunt sounds. Oh, she's already got bits flying off her. And that's just from the fighters and bombers. Oh, here come the ships. Spook ready. And she's down. I should be on a bigger ship. You should be on a bigger ship. Let me see what I can do for you. <coughs> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. It appears I'm dying. There go the plasma weapons, and there goes the Caron class. I take it you need me to go somewhere. There we go. Yes, you're entirely correct. Uh, most of the missionary classes are done. We're going to send them out, make them do things again. This is a great looking ship. Smoke ready. Now, I believe uh, a lot of the Covenant ships, particularly, um, I think a lot of them are models that are also used in Halo Homefront, or maybe they've come originally from Halo Homefront. Uh, I think that's a Homeworld 2 mod, so check it out. Tell me if I'm wrong, ladies and gentlemen. It's entirely possible that I am. It's happened before. And uh, the guy who's mainly textured these was a guy called Zero. Um, and 
he's done a great job. Right, let's see what else we got. Right, we've got this planet now. Let's uh, have a couple of these. Oh, I have that trade station we were talking about. Getting all horny over. Maybe not horny. Feels good. This is that same planetary texture that we saw last time with those kind of dem ruffles. I don't know if I'd like to live there. It looks a little bit dry for me. Well, at least humidity wouldn't be a problem, I guess. It's been a problem here for the last couple of days. Uh, as you know, I, I live in the UK, and anything above about 15 degrees centigrade. Uh, don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, US. Sorry. But it's it's relatively low. It's it's probably somewhere in the in the low 70s, um, well, possibly even the 60s. It's just too hot for me, and I can't cope. I, I should live in Siberia, but the internet connection's terrible, so I won't be moving there anytime soon. Okay, we've got our missionary class. I won't hurt you as long as you do your job. Let's back it out. Okay, our ships are going in. Our forces have arrived. That's always good. From glassing worlds to colonizing them. <laughs> I imagine that's true. That's a lot of shielding that they have there. Looks like the capital ships are really the backbone of the Covenant. If you look at that, they've got uh, uh, 14,800 shielding, whereas uh, the CAR class here only has 2,800 shields. That isn't uh, overly impressive. The to their They're also relatively slow to turn as well, uh, which is not like the UNSC. The UNSC seems to be a lot faster to turn. Their maneuverability seems a bit better. But, as you can see, I will do my part. they are fucking whooping them. They are not messing around. They've got things to do. They've got worlds to glass. Okay, there goes another one. Let's... They won't be expecting this. I think they probably will be expecting this. It's uh, something that they've probably been conditioned to expect. Okay, what have we got here? We've got slip space monitoring. We've got slip space precision. In system phase jump speed, charge up rate. That's good. We're not going to go for that quite yet. Uh, let's go for another resource thing. Auto salvage I'm a little bit less interested in for the time being. What's this here? Bounty collected increase? No. Let's go for that growth rate improvement. Propagator on the moon. Propagate this. Spooky. It's actually doing its job, yeah. Time. <laughs> Planet called Troy. I'm gonna watch out for this place. There she goes. She's going in. Now I'm gonna need to start thinking about getting some uh, better stations up. Uh, one thing I did want to try and do was let's sell a bit of that, buy a bit of that, get that. And when we got the opportunity, we're gonna build another train stage. Train? Yeah, another train station here. <laughs> Orbital structure complete. Another trade station, ladies and gentlemen. A new propagable planet has been discovered. Magnificent. A new propagable oh, what's this? A methane. Look at this. A methane planet. I'd be tempted to call it sulfurous. Because it's all sorts of lello. Excellent. Troy is now under our command. That, ladies and gentlemen, is acceptable news. Let's get a trade station here. Try and get those links on the go because uh, it's at that point now where we really want to be able to do that if we can. Hopefully those missionary classes will survive to get here because I want to see. Well, it was always going to be under attack, isn't it? There are a couple of Aeon classes there, so there are fighters. Planetary improvement finished. Let's see what we got here. A new propagable planet has been discovered. It's a volcanic planet. Propagator vessel awaiting your command. Let's get in there and take that, and then we're going to come back through the methane planet and uh, bindi badgy. You know how it is. Orbital structure complete. All right, better get these. Can't quite do that yet. Apparently, we spent all of our money. Ah, yeah. We need to stop spending all of our money. It's just unacceptable behaviour, isn't it? 
Pretty cool. Pretty cool. But I do need to augment my fleet with the newest uh, cruisers and capital vessels because, uh, as you know, I'm fighting on heroic. Uh, heroic isn't my usual difficulty level, particularly not with a mod that I haven't played a great deal of, particularly not as the Covenant. Uh, this could be very, very troubling for me. I know the Covenant are tough. Let's just see what enemies we've got. Uh, we've got one, two, three. Got four lots of Covenant aside from myself, and we've got one, two, three humans. Okay. That looks. Uh, Looks like something we're going to have to cope with. Uh, now I'm not sure at this point whether the UNSC or the Covenant are going to be the greater threat to me, specifically. Um, let's see just kind of uh, how much everything hates us. Oh, everything hates us all the time, that's fine. This has got a slightly positive uh, viewpoint towards us, so um, I think perhaps this map, this uh, the size of this game that I'm starting to play, maybe I'm going to want to engage in some diplomacy. What does everybody else think of that? Do you think I should engage in diplomacy and then betray them at the last minute? Okay, we've got another orbital structure. To a dem? Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to come back here and, and take these. A new propagable planet has been discovered. Okay, so we've got one there. I haven't quite got one here yet, so let's. Uh, there it is. Done. There you go, trade income. That's going to improve things a little for us. Our truth will spread to new worlds. Our truth will spread to new worlds because I'll bloody well make sure of it. Ooh, large frozen planet. Planetary Two Halicon class cruisers. cruisers. That's interesting. Uh, okay, so it appears that the there is a UNSC people around here somewhere. I'm going to want to go on the offensive as soon as I humanly can. In order to do that, uh, ooh, everything's expensive. You should be on a bigger ship, you handsome devil, you. Right, as soon as we have this volcanic world, what we're going to start doing is we're going to start building some military research labs. Because uh, I want better ships. I want bigger, I want better. I want Baraboomia. Uh, get volcanic exploration, otherwise I'm not going to be able to colonize it. And we're also going to get methane occupation uh, as soon as I can afford it. Because, well, you know, if I'm going to be taking that methane world, I'm going to need it. Ah, uh, don't get attacked. Boom! Shakalaka, tits, air. Okay, that's two down. Now the reason that the UNSC vessels seem so weak is they can basically they can build a fuckload more than the Covenant. I go where the prophets are. And therein lay, lays the uh, the main element of balance for this particular mod. Are we getting there? Wait, wait, yeah, it's thinking about it. Just leave our ships here for a minute. Yeah, so basically you can overwhelm with numbers as the UNSC, whereas with the Covenant you are focused on fewer, uh, much more powerful vessels. I quite like that balancing element. Um, it's something that we tried with the Borg, uh, and uh, some people like it, some people hate it. And I'm, um, you know, it definitely works in this situation. I think they've done a better job of it than we did initially with the Borg. So good job, guys. Uh, yeah, we'll get those in a bit. Let's just save our money for a moment or two. No, you go there. You ain't going nowhere, boy. Highly tuned sensors. Enslaved labor, that's always useful. Shock and awe. Oh, look at our dis diplomacy. Not a great deal of diplomacy available. Maybe that's something they're going to be looking to flesh out in the future. Oh, the grace us with their oh good. I hear it's <laughs> <laughs> bombers on standby. Seraph bombers. Sail amongst the stars. Okay, you sail amongst the stars, but while you're doing that, take a couple of worlds for me, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Uh, never enough money. I require more credits. Work the miners to death if you must. Eternal conviction. Oh, 
Okay. Well, we haven't really met any enemy forces properly yet. Uh, and that concerns me, I've got to be honest. Get our first level, and we'll get the second level, and then we're actually going to start building uh, military labs on this world. God, it looks great with that backdrop. Ah. La! Very nice. Whereas this side, you get an entirely different perspective. Pretty cool. Pretty cool! And one thing you will notice is uh, a lot of these stations here, I believe they're Vasari in origin, they're actually stock stations. Uh, I expect the team to be looking at changing those in the future. Uh, it's something that they've spoken to me about and they're going to want to, uh, uh, they want to get all unique stations. But it's just, uh, it's simply a matter for them that they don't quite have as many uh, modelers and artists as they would like to have. So if anybody is extremely good at modeling or extremely good at texturing and you want to help out the team, uh, let Unicracken know, or yeah, M let M468 know. Because um, they're always looking to bring, bring additional talent on board, as are we at Star Trek Armada 3. What is the order? Here we go, this is going to be a bit more of a... Me. No meat for you. You're a bad man. Bad man! Uh, okay. So can we get that second level yet? Yeah, it's magnificent. And then we're going to upgrade the logistics capacity when we have enough stuff. Oh! That CAR might well be going down. Yeah, heavy strike craft is always good. Okay, we're getting there. We may lose a CAR in this fight. It's looking pretty, uh, pretty dodgy. Seems that the missiles. Uh, this is actually something that um, M468 mentioned to me. The missiles of these vessels, uh, of uh, the UNSC vessels, are pretty much useless uh, against the Covenant. However, their Mac cannons are quite useful. I think I just took a max shot there. Okay, what's next? I'm getting too old for this. You're not getting too old for this, Danny Glover. I will do my part. You will do your part, because I've told you to do your part, you cretin. Okay, let's uh, start upgrading that logistics capacity. Magnificent! Last one. Goodbye. All right, good job, everyone. We did lose a vessel there, but it's not the end of the world. Not the end of the Covenant. We've got plenty of deuterium uh, on around this world, but I have noticed we've got a little bit less titanium than we would like to have at most times. A little bit less of everything than we want. <laughs> okay, that planet has been taken. Got a couple of helicons here. Huh. It looks like this is one of those negative tax planets. But that's okay. We do get a great deal of uh, resource potential here. Is it just one helicos? Helicon class? Let's have a look at it. Looks cool. Fat bum itself. Dad aft. Hey. <laughs> I'm not sure specifically what it's trying to do right now. Uh, I'm a little concerned about it. I'm going to build a couple of CARs. Hmm. Let's see what it's doing. Looks like it might be going for my resource asteroids. I'm displeased about that. Uh, and that means we are going to have to face off against these people as quickly as we possibly can. Because if there's one thing I don't like being, it's displeased. See if it is, in fact... It seems to be turning around now. It's realised shit is going to go down if it attacks me. You should be on a bigger ship, you handsome dude. Oh, it seems to have... Where is it going? 
speeding directly All away from us. Okay. Hopefully we can get it. Giddy giddy. What is the order? Okay. Right, we're gonna do what we said we were gonna do, and we are gonna start getting some holy relic labs. What do we need? Uh, sell a couple of these, get a second holy relic lab. And we'll get a third as well, I think. Our forces have arrived to smite the unworthy. Return the younglings to their quarters. Orbital structure. Complete. Magnificent. And that means we can start upgrading our vessels. We like upgrading our vessels. La -da 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 -da. I don't know why I've gone a little bit mad this morning. It's uh, probably got something to do with the fact that I've got to go to work later on. Are these uh, CARs going to be joining the fight anytime this decade? Orbital structure complete. Good, good. Uh, allows us to build a CRS, which is always nice. CAS. Oh, that's the salvation. Our forces have arrived to smite the unworthy. What is the order? From glassing worlds to colonizing them. Kill them all! Come on, you boys, you can do it. Kill the Halicon. Yep. Shake that thing, Miss Galahana. Interestingly, that appears to be a difference. The Titan Foundry, uh, that uh, seems to be coming in the logistics slot rather than the tactical slot. There goes that Halicon. And my fleet's going to go back here. What's this? An Oni Sloop? Looks like it's more than likely we've got um, more UNSC up here. That's okay. I'm cool with debt. Okay, let's improve our shielding somewhat. Bifurcative. Bifurcative? Bollock nose. Whatever it is, it's alright stuff. Let's have a look at our defense tree. Okay, that's all pretty standard. Okay, we're going to take this planet. We're going to take this planet, and then we are going to continue uh, towards the UNSC who are holding this planet. That's just an only sloop, nothing to be concerned about over there. Retribution. Good. Sell some metal. I'm just gonna have to ensure that it is just sloops that are coming up against us because uh, um, the Covenant aren't necessarily very quick to respond to threats that are coming in. Uh, as far as I can tell, they're not fast ships, and maybe therein lies their primary weakness. Structure complete. From glassing worlds to colonizing them. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, oh, of course they do. It's only natural. Orbital structure complete. I do really want a CCS class. Another Super destroyer. Well, I think one thing that would be good for us to do is actually uh, do our little searches. We've taken this world. Okay, okay. I will bring you to the fight. Don't you worry about that. And once again, we've run out of dollar. I need the dollar, the dollar, the dollar is what I need. Hello? It's just a sloop. Learn it has me a moment. 
Not only sloop there. And the Covenant's research is quite slow as well. Planetary group infinity. And that's something to note down and be interested in because uh, well, we're going to need to pick and choose our researchers a little more carefully than I have been doing from the looks of it. Our truth will spread to new worlds. Sell a bit of that. And a bit of that. Okay, right. Get another trade station up. Did we build one here? We did. What's this? A helicon. Our forces have arrived. Okay, here we go. Enemy world. should be on a bigger ship. Blast that world, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely critical that we do that, because, uh... Hello. This looks like a determined assault. Uh, perhaps they'll retreat when we start glassing their world. So look at this Phoenix colony ship. The ancients grace us with their favor. We've... Planetary improvement finished. Orbital structure complete. Can these Karens attack our world? It appears to be going directly for it. We'll know in a moment. There goes that Phoenix. Our planet is being overrun by the enemy. Yep, they can attack our worlds. So we need to bring our forces. The future of the Covenant lies in the stars beyond. Searching a planet has not found anything. Orbital structure complete. Let's make another holy relic. Good. We will not Orbital lose a planet. Orbital structure complete. Well, that's not entirely true, isn't it? It's plausible that we will lose a planet, but that's not something I want to happen. Because uh, that would be counterproductive, I believe is the word. Okay, let's see what we can do over here. A bit of that, and we're going to get another holy relic. And again. Okay, we've got another two holy relics there, so that brings us to here. That's going to allow us the CCS. But I want that super, super destroyer as well, so I'm going to need one more, and we'll do it at Troy when we have some credits available. Just gonna have to leave that for a minute or two. Orbital structure complete. Come on boys and girls. Forces have arrived to smite the we're gonna smite the unworthy, but we're gonna have to do it fast. Hmm. Planetary improvement finished. Let's build that trade port that we should have built, uh, otherwise it's not going to extend our trade lanes. And as I'm sure you're aware, not extending our trade Orbital lanes, bad times. Complete. Okay, looks like we're going to save the planet. Uh, now this is, well, something fairly unique, I believe, to... Um, There we go, they're down. Uh, something unique to Sins of the Prophet. So you can see this effect here. Now, rather than simply bombarding a planet as the UNSC, what you do is you drop drop pods and actually have a ground war. Uh, and that's what this is indicative of. Pretty cool. I like the idea of that. Bring me to the fight. Okay, right, we've saved that orbital world. Structure complete. Good. We need one more orbital structure here, which is our holy relic. Go back into the Empire Tree, see if we can uh, do anything interesting here that's going to make life easier for me. Not right now. Orbital structure. Let's so we'll research those. Right, we've taken attack from the UNSC. I, I'm not pleased about that. Uh, so we're going to go and deal with it. That's pretty expensive, uh, the Super Destroyer. But I want one, so I'm going to save up and wait a couple of minutes. We also want the CCS, that's going to be important too. I think super, super Destroyer is a little more important. Just check, make sure that these are simply sloops. Noble 
Let's dick all over these guys. Our forces have arrived to smite the unworthy. Orbital structure complete. Still got sloops inside my territory. I'm really not pleased about it. Good lord, this research is extremely slow. But I imagine that is balanced against the UNSC research because the Covenant are going to be very powerful, very late game. Well, I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to release uh, this research. Let it, let it go. Let it go. Well, we're going to glass this world. that glassing effect. Very good. Right. Let's see how the UNSC react to that. Ah, oh, that's a great deal of money. But with time, I'm sure we can get enough. Still in the process of glassing that well. It looks like it's not a quick prog process unless you've got several ships that can do it. Yeah, definitely not a quick process at all. And that's precisely why we need those seed ships that I've been ignoring. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop researching these initially, go back and allow ourselves the opportunity to research it. And there's the SDV. Additional research required. Well, we can only build one right now. Uh, that's okay. Hey man, that's cool. Uh, get ourselves the possibility of another capital vessel. And again, they're not allowed as many capital vessels as the UNSC. Good, good, good. Oish. Sell a bit of that. Adjudicator. High single target destruction. Doesn't sound like a bad thing. That's something we'll look at soon. Something the uh, Sins of the Prophets team also mentioned to me fairly recently is uh, that they are going to be working on some more of their iconography. As you can see, they've got their ship classes, uh, those icons. They're already in place in situ, but they want to work on some of these other icons as well uh, in the near future because uh, they feel like they'd prefer something that was more unique to the Halo universe, and that's definitely going to be happening. They, you can see, I think, these pieces of armor here, they're different. Um, so they've already started a little bit of work, but uh, it's just it's still a work in progress, and it's going to get there. Hello, Got a Karen class. Our fighters will probably deal with that. Oh, new fighters! There it goes. What's this? That is a starbase constructor. Oh, I don't approve of that. Let's make sure it can't build one. Let's make sure I can't build one. God damn it! Plan is still in the process of getting glassed. Ho! Oh. That is not what I wanted to see. Okay. My Seraph Phalanx is at your disposal. Stalwart class frigates here. Let's have a look at them. That's just Lidlin. Looks like it's just having a look around. But we do have quite a few enemies at our world here. That is an issue for me. Nevermore. Quoth the Raven. 
So we're going to have to send our ships. Uh, we're going to have to abandon the assault on the fleet on Omicron, which is most upsetting. Let's see if we're at a point where we can build this. Yeah, we can sell a load of this. A little more. Uh, we're now at the point where we can, in fact, buy. Oh no, we, we're not going to need to. It's, ah, sorry, let's do it. There we go. Super destroyer. We're going to need two fleets, ultimately. Um, we're going to need one stationed in this area. There's the SDV. Right, in the next episode, uh, because of this assault that we've suddenly started taking from the enemy, uh, I think I'm going to switch my uh, my focus on who I'm attacking. Who are these? They are... Corvette at the ready. Nav spec war Zeta. Uh, we are going to have to kill them all. It's unacceptable behavior that they should be attacking one of my worlds. Uh, the Covenant will not be stopped, we will not be broken, and we will certainly not allow this behavior. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, hopefully, uh, this the start's always a little bit slower than uh, mid to late game, so I think in the next episode we're really going to start going. We're already in the process of researching uh, a couple of new classes of vessel, and you're going to see some shit hit the fan. So keep watching, like, subscribe, woohoo, and hopefully I will see you in the next episode in the near future. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.